He wants me to say I'm David Bailey, but you know that anyway. But I'm David Bailey for all the people who don't know. You started shooting in the East End in the 60s while you were also at the height of your fashion fame. What made you keep going back there? No, I've always gone there. I'm still there. I've, I've sort of got a fondness about the East End. It's, it's all gone now. It's all been pulled down. I mean, that, that was a great row of... Uh, Houses. I remember taking that, thinking I wish I had a longer lens, but I wanted it on 120. I think it's one. Yes, 120. It's the only. It's only 121 here. It must be on a Rolleiflex. Really, I'm only interested in photographing people. These are just something I did. So I like doing it. It's like scouting up up the road where you live. So if it was easy, just I'm good. Taking them all out the side of the front door. That's Jean, famous picture of Jean. That's a great picture, isn't that? Great, this is my mother's house, look. One, two, three, four, five bolts. And the way you got in, you put your hand through, pull out the string and got the key. <laughs> Most of these pictures were taken about 60, 61, 62, something like that. And so I used the Vogue Lab, really, in Hanover Square. Well, I'd, I used to shoot there because yeah. I had a little studio at, at Vogue then in those days because I had a contract with Vogue. No colour is the more... Uh, I think it takes away something from an image. With black and white, you go straight to the object. When you look at a colour picture, you say, well, that's nice colour. But then you look at the image, whereas in black and white, you just look straight at the image. Yeah, I think it lends itself to photography, black and white. It's more serious, black and white. The, uh, it's all changed now because of digital. Because uh, now you shoot everything in digital because you click, click, click. It doesn't matter. It doesn't cost anything. It's just digital. And then you choose afterwards. But in those days, you either did a, I did a 120 and 35 mil. 35 mil was quite revolutionary then to do it on this kind of stuff. Uh, I mean, you certainly had to make up your mind what you were shooting because it's so expensive for film and that.